Hi. 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 Okay, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Uh, hi, can I please request all of you, any of you, to come and occupy this? We are these many people, it's not young log, so you might as well. Thank you. Anyone else? Anyone else? Thank you. Anyone else, ma'am, sir, sir? Ajo, ajo. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, 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 welcome to the Sunday afternoon uh, poetry open mic. My name is Harsh. I'm going to be your host for tonight. Yeah? Cool? Yeah? No? Okay, fine. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. It's okay. I'm going to be a pity. It's fine. Okay. Welcome. It's going to be fun. Okay. I'll begin with the rules. Basic, basic rules. Okay. Everyone gets four minutes. Uh, at three minutes, 30 seconds, there'll be a light will be flashing your back. It's going to be a little back. You have 30 more seconds to finish the piece. In four minutes, you can finish the art piece. As long as you finish in four minutes, it'll be great. Because we have a bunch of performers. Everyone should get equal time. So please respect time, four minutes. Second, uh, this is my personal thing. It's not even a rule. It's like my personal giving. Uh, it's an open mic, so fuck up. It's fine. <laughs> I think I think it's an it's fine, right? Like we all are here to try material. We all are try, here to try something we've written and express it. And you guys have made it. So Anika kam ho gaya. Now it's only coming up to here and doing this. So have fun. Also, uh, fuck up. If you do fuck up, it's fine. You can start all over again. No one's gonna judge you. It's fine. Everyone's really nice. Um, um, if you have any trigger, uh, like if you have any trigger warning in your piece, if you want to give, please do give before the piece just in case so that anyone can walk out for four minutes or like sit somewhere else and not feel uncomfortable by the end of it. So trigger warning hai, to de dena. Um, have fun. Uh, that's to there. Uh, or kya um, There was one more thing that I just remembered and I forgot. Uh, um, huh, if you are nervous, okay. I mean, there's, I can see one first time performer. If you are nervous, just say it's your first time. For some reason, people feel like very this ki haan yaari, first time so people should cheer and applaud. So just say, if you're very nervous, just say it's your first time. Um, okay, so now, we are this many people, theke? This is the next two hours. Uh, so I will do a mock on this one, right? I will call someone right now, and you have to act like someone's coming on stage, and you have to like lose it. Like clap, cheer, theke, so karo. Theke? Let's do it, are you ready? Yeah, okay. Na, 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 na. <laughs> That was great. Usually I do it three times. <laughs> so now you know the standard is here, right? You clapped and hooted here. You can't go below. So keep it high. Okay, cool. It's not okay, basic. Baki, have fun. Uh, it's going to be really fun. Uh, how many of you are working today? Is anyone working today? No? That's the first Sunday. Okay, no, no, no. Last two Sundays I've been finding a lot of people who are working on Sundays. So just thought I'll ask. You are working. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, but this is not really, I don't know, like, how to explain, uh, yeah. To you guys, it's okay, but I can't explain all this to, like, relatives and, like, family and stuff, because they'll still be like, what do you do? And like this, like, what do you do? And I'm like, okay, same loop question for years. So what I've started doing is I say random professions to random people who will never come and ask me again. So that's fun, you should try it. Um, okay, uh, before I start, I want to give you random facts. I'll keep coming and talking, okay? I want to talk about random stories today. Come and talk to you guys. But I want to start with a random fact about me. Because I'm here, you're here. Might as well do this. My name is Harsh. I am a Gujarati. But I'm from Bangalore. I know, right? I know, I know. <laughs> it doesn't go along. That's what a lot of people told me while growing up. I'm like, why does not how, how, they ask me, how are you Gujarati in Bangalore? And I'm like, that's weird. Have you heard of moving? Um, so, um, it depends in the morning with my breakfast as to how I feel. If someone gives me thepla and cha, I'll be like, okay, I'm Gujarati. If someone gives me idli and coffee, I feel like Kanadiga. Yeah? But here's the thing, I haven't had breakfast in a few years. So I'm having an existential crisis right now. <laughs> Second very important fact, um, I am tall, if you can see. Uh, for those of you wondering, 6'2", because a lot of people ask me generally saying this. Um, I just want to give out a fact there, okay? Tall people, Love being tall. Like love. And it's weird because you can't keep saying it out loud because it's apparently mean to other people. If you keep saying, I love it, being tall, I love being tall, people are like, so insensitive, right? Even though I just was born with this. So if you ever need some things to be taken from a certain place, and if you know a tall person, just call them. It helps. Like they'll feel great about their height. They won't 
have to keep saying it also. Other also people won't have to keep saying, you know, like it's a, it's a balance. So please call it all person next time you want to get something done. They'll, they'll be very happy to do it because it's like our second, I wish there was a profession like this. I would have aced it in that. And the final, final fact about me, uh, a month back, I was not only a national but an international uh, threat. Yeah, guys, I was. You won't believe it. I got COVID. So, no? Okay, thanks. None of you got COVID? How many of you got COVID? Give me, give me a hoot. Give me a hoot, man. Remove the frustration. This is not cool. We have to do it. Yeah, we have to do this. It's like therapy also. Okay. How, how many of you? Uh, four? Four, five? Yeah. One, two, yeah, yeah. three, four, five. Who else? That's it? It's damn weird, dude. It's been, this is the third week. Okay, guys, the third week. Where there are only four, four people in this room of 20 who have got COVID. And it's weird. Because now the people who didn't get it, you guys are the weird ones. We are okay. <laughs> we are okay. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, exactly. People who didn't get it, people are looking at you saying, you're weird, dude. Like, you should, should have gotten it by now. Why didn't? Okay. Cool. That's it. That's it. It's also been like four years I'm doing this. So I'm just letting you know. It's not a fact. It's just something you should know. Like, in between, if I just go quiet, I just go quiet. I'm just telling you, I've got very comfortable states, so I'll just go quiet. I'll just keep playing. <laughs> Fun. Okay, cool. I don't know why you guys are feeling weird. Like, uh, you guys are sitting, I'm standing, I should be like, oh, fuck. I should say something right now. Cool. Okay. We have eight performers. Are you guys excited to begin this? Yeah? 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 You have to keep the energy high. We'll try balancing the energy, you know, doing things. But keep the energy high, okay? First person today. First person. Okay, so you have to lose your mind. Pretend like they're your best friend for if you have to. But let's begin, okay? Let's begin. So let's start clapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start clapping. Go wild, go wild, go wild. A little more. Can we please have Devi Shah? She's coming, guys, all the way. Keep clapping. It's Devi again. Sorry. Like yeah. uh, so the piece I'll be performing. Am I audible? So the piece I'll be performing is called Baksa. Kabhi kabhi do logo ko alag is liye karte hai kyunki wo do no ek dusre ke liye sahi nahi hote. Kabhi kabhi jo jude hote hai unhe is liye dur karte hai kyunki hum ye samjhana chahte hai ki don't be used to any of it. Par main aur tum in sab se bahut alag hai. Bahut dur in cheezon ke hai kyunki hum paas hai ek dusre se itna. जैसे शहर और समुंदर है क्योंकि समुंदर ही तो एक ऐसी चीज है जो इस बदलते शहर में थमी सी है जैसे आसमां में डूबता सूरज और उगता चांद है जो चाहे कितनी कोशिश कर ले साल में एक बार ही मिलते हैं पर भूलते नहीं कि वो आसमां भी तो उनका एक है जैसे एक ही कांच के टूटे हुए हिस्से हैं जिसके किस्से और अक्स भी तो एक है तुम ना जिंदगी की एक पहेली हो एक ऐसी पहेली जो सिलच की भी उलझी सी है फिर भी मर्जनों के बीच अब भी याद है कुछ बातें मुझे वो बातें जो किसी से नहीं होगी बस तुम से आई सडनली रिमेंबर ऑल दोज कन्वर्सेशन वी हैड आई रिमेंबर एवरी वर्थ दैट आई सेट आई रिमेंबर हाउ द स्टार्स वो सो फॉन बिफ यू एंड आई रिमेंबर हाउ द सिटी ऑलवेज कैप्ट योर लाइफ I remember how you would love being this, this lost in the hope of being found. I remember feeling the absence in your presence somehow, but I fail to forget your presence now. Haan. Mujhe tum abhi yaad ho. Bas yahi koshish mein lagi hoon ki yeh sab bhool jaoon kabhi, par mere andar ke kalakar ko yeh manzoor nahi. Is liye shayad abhi un sawalo ki dhoon mein hoon, jin ke jawaab pehle se hai mujhe pata. जानते हो आज मैं फिर वही राह से गुजरी जहाँ वो सफ़ेद फूल दिखे थे हमें अब जब यहाँ बैठी हूँ तो ज़मीर जैसे आसमां के नीलेपन को समझने लगी बैठी हूँ मैं आज तुम्हारे इतने पास फिर भी कितने दूर हो तुम शायद तुम्हारा बक्सा छोटा हो पर जो दूर ये ले आई वो बहुत लंबा एक सफ़र है आज तुम्हारे कफन के पास बैठकर यही नज़म याद सा आया फिर कि तुम्हारे होने पर तुम्हारे ना होने का एहसास सा था और अब तुम जो नहीं हो तो तुम्हारा होना जैसे हकीकत बन गया
Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, yet again, this has been a pleasure. Can you please have another round of applause for her? Um, I call the next person. Okay, cool. If I if I get any of your names wrong, uh, please clarify. It's fine. I'm I'm going to fuck up, guys. I told you. Okay. Um, okay. Second person. Second person. Yeah. 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 Can we please have Sathawan? Is that right? Okay, it is okay, okay. Keep clapping till it comes to the Hi guys, I am Sakhawat. Hello. There are two small things that are coming to you. The first thing is that you don't do it. 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 दुनिया का कोई है भला ईमान जाने मन पोषिदगी से जाना कभी जाना हो अगर पोषिदगी से जाना कभी जाना हो अगर जाते हुए न कोई ले पहचान जाने मन कुछ रोज पहले याद करो एक ही थे हम कुछ रोज पहले याद करो एक ही थे हम ऐसे न कर अभी मुझे अनजान जाने मन कुछ वक्त और दे हमें जल्दी है क्या अभी कुछ वक्त और दे हमें जल्दी है क्या अभी रास्ता निकालेंगे कोई आसान जाने मन ना हिजर का करो अभी ऐलान जाने मन इसमें हमारे दोनों का नुकसान जाने मन एक दूसरा बहुत छोटा सा है तुम्हारी याद से अब हम निकलते हैं खुदा हाफिज तुम्हारी याद से अब हम निकलते हैं खुदा हाफिज हुआ है वक्त चलने का तो चलते हैं खुदा हाफिज यहीं तक था अंधेरों को तेरे रोशन मेरा करना यहीं तक था अंधेरों को तेरे रोशन मेरा करना तो लो अब हो गया हो सब तो ढलते हैं खुदा हाफिज तुम्हारे बाजुओं ने हमको थोड़ा सा तो जकड़ा था तुम्हारे बाजुओं ने हमको थोड़ा सा तो जकड़ा था तुम्हारे हाथ से अब हम फिसलते हैं खुदा हाफिज तुम्हारी कश्ती मुस्तबिल में हमको ढो न पाएगी तुम्हारी कश्ती मुस्तबिल में हमको ढो न पाएगी चलो कोई नहीं कश्ती बदलते हैं खुदा हाफिज तुम्हारी आदतें जो भी लगी सब छूट जाएंगी तुम्हारी आदतें जो भी लगी सब छूट जाएंगी सफ़र तन्हा ही कटना है संभलते हैं खुदा हाफिज ये गज़ल है मैं माफी नामा बोलता हूँ <coughs> मैंने कुछ तुमसे कहा हो तो मेरी जा माफी हो कोई वादा अधूरा तो मेरी जा माफी मैंने कुछ तुमसे कहा हो तो मेरी जा माफी हो कोई वादा अधूरा तो मेरी जा माफी जितनी ताकत मेरे बाजू में थी पकड़ा तुमको जितनी ताकत मेरे बाजू में थी पकड़ा तुमको छूट कुछ हमसे गया हो तो मेरी जा माफी यूँ तो हम एक ही आवाज़ के बस आदि थे यूँ तो हम एक ही आवाज़ के बस आदि थे कभी तुमको न सुना हो तो मेरी जा माफी पाँव में ज़ख्म लिए तुमको हंसाया हमने पाँव में ज़ख्म लिए तुमको हंसाया हमने फिर भी दिल हमसे खफा हो तो मेरी जा माफी जैसे भी थे हम थे तेरे खुद तमाशा महफिल जैसे भी थे हम तो तेरे खुद तमाशा महफिल अगर कोई तुम पे हंसा हो तो मेरी जा माफी तुमसे तुमसे उलझे थे हम जिस रात बहुत रोए खुद तुमसे उलझे थे हम जिस रात बहुत रोए खुद तुम पे भी अगर ये हो गुजरा तो मेरी जा माफी तेरी जुल्फों के सिवा याद ना आया कुछ भी तेरी जुल्फों के सिवा याद ना आया कुछ भी अगर कोई राज छिपा हो तो मेरी जा माफी मुझको मालूम है ये काम बड़ा मुश्किल है मुझको मालूम है ये काम बड़ा मुश्किल है देखो कुछ तुम से ज़रा हो तो मेरी इच्छा माफी थैंक यू
one more time, please. Ha, oh, that's been fun. It's been really fun. Uh, so generally, when I host, I think two, three of you have uh, seen it before. I try to take up a certain theme or topic. Uh, and then talk about it completely. But today I want to do something different. I want to do a mixed bag. Okay, I, I believe everyone is a story. Yeah, everyone carries, uh, you know, their life, their culture, their families, all of that, and everyone in their own way is a story. And I, I, I think the stories in our own life are enough to inspire us to do things in life because of what how it's turned out to be. Um, but these are just random stories that I thought I should experiment and try with 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 you guys. Uh, I don't know if you are fortunate or unfortunate, but you guys are here, so we can try this. Okay. But I need your help in it. I'm going to say you know what, and you guys are going to say what back, and then I will begin a story. I will try doing that every few acts here and there. Let's see how it goes, okay? We'll try once. You know what? What? Okay, that was good. You know what? What? This is one time. I went to give my two-wheeler. My Activa chalata tha. I went to give that test. I'm from Bangalore. I went to give that test. I don't know how many of you have got it in Bombay. Can you give a chair? How many of you got their driving or their riding license in Bombay? Two-wheeler, four-wheeler, anyone? Okay, very few people. Okay, okay. The process in Bombay is very different is what I've heard compared to Bangalore. Bangalore is a proper test. Sorry, guys. So proper test in Bangalore where they take you to a place somewhere. It's not like, you sit in the car and license. That's what I've heard. I don't know if it's true. Um, so I had to, whatever, register. The agent, tha. with the agent, we went to the RTO, got registered. He said, okay, come to this place. I took my Activa. I went with him to outskirts of a city a little bit. And it was a, a uh, it was a place which was made with like a slope. Okay, it was like a rectangle but a slope uh, for the tests for the driving and riding test. So my gaya I'm like okay cool. You know I just have to take my Activa, do one round. It's a normal day, right? If you rode something like a moped, it's very easy and casual. So I'm like I'm like okay my turn will come. There were a bunch of people because they take a lot of people at once. There were a bunch of people who were doing that. So this guy comes and says okay you finish your Activa. And then we'll do your car test. I haven't sat in a car in the driver's seat in my life, okay? And he suddenly gives me this information. I thought it was not obviously confusion. Man. He must have got confused with someone else. So I went and told him, no, dude, I'm here just here for the activa. He's like, no, your name is registered for both. So I'm like, I, I couldn't tell you to him at that point. I'm like, okay, what do I do? Obviously, I reached out to my dad. I called him. And I'm like, hey, he's telling me to do this. My dad's like, yeah, okay, do it. And I'm like, you have to drive a car. Like, it's not as simple as a cycle or something you can do it. He's like, no, no, it's fine, you know, like, whatever. He's like, okay, look. So, confusion solve can I call the agent, call RTO, whatever, figured, figured. Then I get a call back and I thought, ki, chal, dad, hai, baat kar lenge, ho jayega. He calls me and he's like, no, you have to drive a car. And I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? How do I just drive a car? He's like, no, no, you'll have to. I was like, okay, fuck. The first time I'm giving a test for a car, this happens. Next best person, I called my cousin, okay? She's the best driver in our family. So I'm like, should call her and ask her for tips because who knows what happens in a car. Uh, and it was like a really, it was like Maruti 800 or something. So even more difficult if you know the, how the steering works. So I called her. On the phone, she's like, okay, so you know what acceleration brake clutches, right? I'm like, no. <laughs> and she's like, that's the basic. You just need to know that in the beginning. And I'm like, I, I don't know. She's like, okay, uh, remember it as A, B, C, okay? Like first pedal will be acceleration, brake, clutch. I'm like, okay, cool. Then it's like, you do this, you do that, remove the clutch like this, change the gear, put the acceleration, done. And I, it didn't make any sense to me, okay? <laughs> the 15 minute call, but because I didn't want her to repeat, I was like, yeah, cool, yeah, <laughs> I'll do it. And then I hung up and I'm just looking at that car, okay? And people are going in that car and I'm like, how difficult can it be, right? Like, and then another thought came to my head, ki, what if I get a license? without having driven a, driven a car. This is going to be legendary. Like, you know, I can't go around and tell people because then they'll get sued or I'll get sued. But like, I was like, it's such a big moment that I will just step into a car, drive it and I'll get a license. That's it. So my Activa ka hua. I finally went all the way around, came back. Uh, ho then I'm freaking out a little bit. I'm like, okay, remember, remember, three pedals. Okay, three pedals. So I sit. I'm sitting here at the driver's. My Bajma is the guy who's taking my test and the agent is behind. So now I've seen people start a car, so I know that much. Like start karne ke liye theek hai, meko pata hai. Start the car. So that guy is giving me instructions, and this guy figured I was freaking out a little bit. So he's like, "Don't worry, you know the guy will help you out." So like, "Don't worry, he'll tell you what to do or like things." Right? You just have to drive. 
I'm like, yeah, again, how simple can it be? Like, uh, how difficult can it be, right? Is this this much? This, this. Then he's like, attacks, wo sab karo. To my, I tried like starting it, then he's like, put in the first gear. That much also I knew. I'm like, yeah, put in the first gear. And then he's like, release the clutch slowly and then accelerate. And I tried doing that, and then if you know anything, if you've drawn cars, it's basically, even I learned it that day, it started jerking as it kept going. So it a little bit. Again, he's like, okay, try it again. Now I'm freaking out a little bit because I'm like, fuck, these guys will get to know. <laughs> and there are a lot of people. So I'm already wasting time and I'm trying to be cool here to drive a car without driving a car. So then I did that same process again. Again, it was a little bit further and it was a little bit further. In Canada, this person asked him, this guy, does this guy know how to drive or not? This guy looks at me. I'm looking back and he's looking at me saying, you know how to drive, right? And I'm just looking at him. I'm just like, <laughs> so he's like, you know how to drive. And I'm just like, I couldn't say no in front of that guy because I'm like, Kabhi feel karega. even though I was obviously not going to make it. But I was like, nee, karte try. Then I was like, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. He's like, okay, I'll do it. Fir wapas kiya wo. It went thoda aage. I was very excited, but slow pe chad gaya wo. Now, I don't know. I started thinking, how am I going to turn? How am I going to do all of that? Because it was a very, like, uh, just for that car, that much space was there. I'm like, I'm going to go to No one else can drive the car for the rest of the day. So I'm like, fuck, what do I do? And while we were going up, just while we were going to, I was feeling a little more confident. This guy from the back said, uh, reverse bhi aaji kar lete kya? And I'm like, reverse karane wale log par se. Bro, I can't go straight. How the fuck am I going to do a reverse now? So finally, we did that for a while. And as soon as I heard this, I started again feeling it. Okay, shit, shit, shit. And now how do I go? And it's going upar, upar, upar. Suddenly, jerk, 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 stops. And it's about to come down. Oh, handbrake keeps leta hai. And this guy's a little mad now because he looks at me and he's like, do you know how to drive or not? And I'm like, no. And then he just looks at me with so much anger and he can't say anything to me. So he starts, he turns back and he starts yelling at the um, agent. And the agent is trying to ask him, give him one chance, give him one chance, all of that. And I'm understanding this. It's not like I don't know what's happening. I'm understanding the language he's speaking. I understand what he's telling about me. And I'm, I can't say anything because I'm like, uh, I know I was going to not do well. And finally, He's like, okay, one more last chance. That's a speed breaker. A bad speed breaker. Have you seen those speed breakers which, which is so big that you can't see anything <laughs> in the road? Um, so it is that big, big speed breaker. Again, same thing. I was like, I'll do it, I'll do it. We went, we went, jerkwa, jerkwa. It went, oh, the, the first set of tires crossed the speed breaker. This guy, my, before the guy next to me to tell me anything, my agent looked at me and said, leave the car. <laughs> And I was like, why, what? And he's like, just leave the car. And then I go, we go off. He's talking, talking to him, comes back to me, and he's like, um, you should have told me before that you didn't know how to drive a car. I'm like, yeah, I tried. He's like, when? I'm like. <laughs> so he's like, go learn. I said, I've learned. He's like, really? <laughs> that is your learning? And I'm like, yeah, I, I guess. And yeah, I didn't get my license, guys. Obviously, I didn't get my license. But I got my two-wheeler license, but that was the first ever time I was told to fucking sit in a car and drive. And I don't know how stressful it is. Or you guys have gone through it, but it was really, really stressful because we have a real test. Okay, guys, thank you for listening. Oh. One more thing. Uh, if, if you guys are... I've seen this pressure, okay, at places, is that if someone wants to clap, if one person starts clapping, other people feel the need to clap. With me, it's fine. If two of you want to clap, two of you clap. It's fine. It doesn't matter. For other people, save the energy. But for me, it's fine. It really doesn't. Cool. Thank you for listening. Okay. I'll call the next person. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you please have toss it? It's coming all the way from the first row, guys. You have to be more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. बहुत शुक्रिया ये मौका देने के लिए एक गजल इश्क में ये जरूरी काम होना चाहिए इश्क में ये जरूरी काम होना चाहिए इजहार मोहब्बत सरेआम होना चाहिए इश्क में ये जरूरी काम होना चाहिए इजहार मोहब्बत सरेआम होना चाहिए घर मिल जाए किसी को कोई अमीर शख्स घर मिल जाए किसी को कोई अमीर शख्स प्यार को ना उस वक्त नीलाम होना चाहिए घर मिल जाए किसी को कोई अमीर शख्स प्यार को ना उस वक्त नीलाम होना चाहिए इसको मद्देनज़र रखते हुए मैंने ये सोचा इसको मद्देनज़र रखते हुए मैंने ये सो ये सोचा दिल लगाने से पहले कोई बड़ा काम होना चाहिए 
दिल लगाने से पहले कोई बड़ा काम होना चाहिए इतनी मिन्नत समाजत खुशामत के बाद इतनी मिन्नत समाजत खुशामत के बाद उसको तो एक शाम मेरे साथ होना चाहिए दूसरी गज़ल देखें गर्दिश में सितारे हैं ज़रा ठहरो गर्दिश में सितारे हैं ज़रा ठहरो बुरे दिन हमारे हैं ज़रा ठहरो दिल में बसाया है तो साथ घर भी बसाएंगे दिल में बसाया है तो साथ घर भी बसाएंगे अभी मझधार में नैया है ज़रा ठहरो दिल में बसाया है तो साथ घर भी बसाएंगे अभी मझदार में नैया है ज़रा ठहरो हज़ार मुश्किलें हों लाख दुशारियाँ हों तो क्या हज़ार मुश्किलें हों लाख दुशारियाँ हों तो क्या मांझी ने तो पत्थर को भी हटाया है ज़रा ठहरो मांझी ने तो पत्थर को भी हटाया है ज़रा ठहरो मुझ गुनहगार की भी सुन लेगा खुदा एक दिन मुझ गुनहगार की भी सुन लेगा खुदा एक दिन एक वही तो रहमत वाला है ज़रा ठहरो एक वही तो रहमत वाला है ज़रा ठहरो बस इन्हीं मरहलों को पार करना है बस इन्हीं मरहलों को पार करना है फिर तो सिर्फ तुम्हारा है ज़रा ठहरो थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच गाइज सॉरी बट वन ऑफ द फीडबैक्स आर बीन गिवन इज दैट आई मेक पीपल क्लैप अलॉट इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ माई जॉब आई कैन डू एनी थिंग हैव टू ओके वी हैव अ फर्स्ट टाइम परफॉर्मर या नेक्स्ट फर्स्ट टाइम परफॉर्मर I'm sorry. This is this my way of doing it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Okay. Can we first? Can we properly do this? Yeah. Clap. Yeah. 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 So please have Krutika. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you know what? What? You know what? What? Okay, thank you. Give me a cheer if you went to school. Yeah. Yes. Yes. People went back to school. Cheer. Okay. Give me a cheer if you like giving exams. Yeah. Yes. 
Okay. <laughs> I don't want to see you guys. <laughs> Some of you are so confident. I, the remaining, all of you, I'm with you. Uh, fifth grade, I was in this all boys school. It, all boys doesn't matter, but I just thought you should know. All boys school. Um, so fifth grade exams, right? I was a very shy and scared kid while growing up. And uh, exams were a big deal, right? Uh, I scored really low. I don't know how many of you did that. If you did, good for you. I'm with you. Um, so, scored really bad. So, uh, fifth exam I had. Maybe it was midterm, something like that. I don't know how many of you guys have done this, okay? They used to give a um, circular which says the date and the exam in your diary. Okay? My mom took the responsibility of teaching me, even though I went to tuitions. Like, from third grade, I've gone to tuitions. She still would teach me and like religiously sit and do this. So I came back from one exam and she's like, what's your next exam? And I said, geography. And she didn't check much. And she got me to like start studying and I studied, I studied, I studied. I read school, fifth grade. And the science paper comes in front of me. And I have no idea, okay? I'm blank for a second because I'm like, am I, like did I get the wrong paper? Have I come to the wrong room? All kinds of questions, right? So I opened my diary, I didn't get so much time, and I looked around, everyone's is okay with science paper, and then I opened my diary and saw that science was after that, geography tha. And I didn't tell my mom, and I only said, like, I was like, fuck the exam, I'm more worried about going back home and telling my mom, you know, like, this has happened. So I wrote something and I wrote the exam, okay? I was like, it's fine, I'm more worried about going home than, like, the paper right now. So I gave my paper, I went back home, my mom's like, how's the paper? I said, good, good. <laughs> She's like, what's your next paper? I'm like, geography. <laughs> she's like, what was today? I'm like, science. <laughs> and then she opened my diary and she's like, oh, fuck, I should have checked. I should have done this. How do I believe you all of that? I'm like, I don't know. I just like, you know, do that. And I didn't get good marks, obviously, in that. But geography, I aced because I studied twice for it, OK? <laughs> so I aced in geography. Um, cool. We'll call the next person. Yeah, OK, yes. OK, OK. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can, can we please have Arslan? Guys, wait, wait, wait. Keep clapping till he comes on stage. Everyone, yeah. So, my name is Aslan Siddiqui. And I'm an engineer by profession and a poet by passion. So, I'm a dard likta, okay, see, see what I'm saying. I'm a dard likta. So, people ask me, how much is the gum coming from? How much is the gum coming from? So, I wrote a shade on it. इतना गम है कि खुदी से छुपाना चाहता हो, इतना गम है कि खुदी से छुपाना चाहता हो, तुम वही देखते हो जो मैं दिखाना चाहता हो, तुम वही देखते हो जो मैं दिखाना चाहता हो। एक शेर लिखा था उस मोहब्बत के लिए जो मुकम्मल ना हो सकी, बहरहाल उसको मैंने वादा किया था कि तोहफा तो जरूर दूंगा, तो झुमका दिया था तो तोहफे में तब उस पे एक शेर लिखा था कि मेरा दिया झुमका अब भी अपने कानों में सजाए फिरती हो मेरा दिया झुमका अब भी अपने कानों में सजाए फिरती हो क्यों बेवजह अधूरी मोहब्बत का बोझ उठाए फिरती हो क्यों बेवजह अधूरी मोहब्बत का बोझ उठाए फिरती हो एक छोटी सी नज़म है जो लिखी थी कि तन्हाइयों को और तन्हा कर जाती है तन्हाइयों को और तन्हा कर जाती है तेरी यादें आके मुझे अकेला कर जाती है मैं रोकूं खुद को कैसे तेरे ख्यालों से मैं रोकूं खुद को कैसे तेरे ख्यालों से पाबंदियां मेरे दिल को खोखला कर जाती है पाबंदियां मेरे दिल को खोखला कर जाती है पुकारने का हक कब का खो चुका हो पुकारने का हक कब का खो चुका हो लेकिन आदत तेरे नाम को जुबा तक ले आती है लेकिन आदत तेरे नाम को जुबा तक ले आती है सुनाई नहीं देती तुम्हें अब चीखे मेरी सुनाई नहीं देती तुम्हें अब चीखे मेरी तुम तो कहती थी तुम्हें मेरी आहट तक सुनाई देती है तुम तो कहती थी तुम्हें मेरी आहट तक सुनाई देती है और माफी मांगने से दिल के जख्म नहीं भरते माफी मांगने से दिल के जख्म नहीं भरते सब्र करने से दिल से आहें निकल आती है सब्र करने पर दिल से आहें निकल आती है 
बन जुबा कुछ कह नहीं सकती तो क्या बन जुबा कुछ कह नहीं सकती तो क्या गिरते हुए आंसुओं से कहानियाँ बयां हो जाती है गिरते हुए आंसुओं से कहानियाँ बयां हो जाती है तुम सोच कर दिल लगाना इसके बाद किसी से तुम सोच कर दिल लगाना इसके बाद किसी से क्योंकि दिल लगाने के बाद तुम्हें मजबूरी याद आती है क्योंकि दिल लगाने के बाद तुम्हें मजबूरी याद आती है मजबूरी है अगर तो इश्क जाहिर मत करो मजबूरी है अगर तो इश्क जाहिर मत करो मजबूरियाँ अक्सर रिश्तों का कत्ल कर जाती है मजबूरियाँ अक्सर रिश्तों का कत्ल कर जाती है मैं देख चुका था पहले ही आने वाले कल को मैं देख चुका था पहले ही आने वाले कल को मुलाकातों में मुझे जुदाई नज़र आती है मुलाकातों में मुझे जुदाई नज़र आती है दोस्त तुम्हारा नहीं शायद मेरी तकदीर का है दोस्त तुम्हारा नहीं शायद मेरी तकदीर का है कि एक आजमाइश ख़त्म होती नहीं कि दूसरी आ जाती है कि एक आजमाइश ख़त्म होती नहीं कि दूसरी आ जाती है ठहर कर पढ़ना मेरी इस नज़म को ठहर कर दोबारा पढ़ना मेरी इस नज़म को क्या जानी पहचानी कुछ कहानी याद आती है ठहर कर दोबारा पढ़ना मेरी इस नज़म को क्या कुछ जानी पहचानी कहानी याद आती है उधुल्ला सा अक्स मेरा ही है तुम्हारी आँखों में उधुल्ला सा अक्स मेरा ही है तुम्हारी आँखों में भूल गए क्या तुम तो कहते थे मेरी याद आती है तुम तो कहते थे मेरी याद आती है थैंक यू मच This is what I enjoy. Perspective is so important, right? For a lot of people, this month is about love. For a lot of people, it's about heartbreak. Like you divide, you divide in your own way. And also, I've noticed when people do love poems, everyone's always like, "That's your story. Good for you. I'm very happy for you." The minute someone does heartbreak, you're like, "This is my pain. You have expressed my pain. I don't care about what you went through. I went through so much." And I've noticed that it's it's general because love people are like, "Yeah, okay, cool. You got lucky." With heartbreak, it's like, "Oh, you too." <laughs> good for you good for you okay uh generally we also live stream this on our youtube channel uh, unfortunately we can't because of internet so uh we we going to be putting this up on the channel maybe in 2 to 3 days time so in the next 2 to 3 days go head over to habitat studios uh, if you haven't subscribed then what are you waiting for uh, uh so go to that um and you'll find the uh, video there and you can take it off you can use it for social media please do give credit i think credit is very important to whoever is doing the work it's very important to us to everyone so please do that um it helps cool i'll call the next person we have four more people call the next person yeah yeah okay 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 yeah no 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 lil mo lil mo lil mo lil mo to be that for man he's coming guys all the way from the first to keep clapping till he comes on stage It's my first time. So, first time performance, first time uh, heartbreak also. <laughs> And I change from stand-up comedy to shy now. So, <laughs> totally shifted. दर्द की कहानी. बेवक्त रात में घूमे हम आवारा तो नहीं. बेवक्त रात में घूमे हम आवारा तो नहीं. रेत का एक बिस्तर है. अंधेरा ओढ़े सोने दो जो नब्ज़ हाथ में आए तो हम भी अपना मर्ज बताएं जो नब्ज़ हाथ में आए तो हम भी अपना मर्ज बताएं मुंह फेर कर जो बैठे हैं उन्हें अनाराज रहने दो क्यों करें परवाह उनकी जिनकी आंखों में खुशनुमाइत नहीं क्यों करें परवाह उनकी जिनकी आंखों में खुशनुमाइत नहीं उनके लिए खंडर है हम हमें अपने आप में आलिशान रहने दो अब कौन उन्हें ये समझाए इस हाल में चैन कैसे आए अब कौन उन्हें ये समझाए इस हाल में चैन कैसे आए कुछ दिल के टुकड़े बिखरे हैं उन्हें बिखरा ही रहने दो जो दूर वहाँ वो है खड़ी उनसे उल्फत का रिश्ता है जो दूर है वो वहाँ खड़ी उनसे उल्फत का रिश्ता है अल्फाज इतने काबिल कहाँ हमें आँखों से ही सब कहने दो नहीं 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 अब और नहीं चाहिए छोड़ चुके हैं वो गलियाँ 
अब और नहीं चाहिए जख्म सोते हैं मुरझाई सी मोहब्बत के दर्द भरे कांटों पर जख्म सोते हैं मुरझाई भरी मोहब्बत के दर्द भरे कांटों पर तेरे एहसास भरे तोशक की नींद अब और नहीं चाहिए मायूसी के बादलों से घिरा है आसमान मेरे ऊपर मायूसी के बादलों से घिरा है आसमान मेरे ऊपर टूटते तारों से लिपटी ख्वाहिशें अब और नहीं चाहिए नंगे पाँव कड़ी धूप में चलना सीख लिया है मैंने नंगे पाँव कड़ी धूप में चलना सीख लिया है मैंने तेरे पलकों की ठंडी छाँव अब और नहीं चाहिए सीख लिया है मैंने अंधेरे में अपने आप को रोशन रखना सीख लिया है मैंने अंधेरे में अपने आप को रोशन रखना पर्दों की सलवटों से झाँकती है चांदनी रातें अब और नहीं चाहिए ये कम दिल है कि मानता नहीं ये कम दिल है कि मानता नहीं अब हर महफिल में तेरा जिक्र और नहीं चाहिए थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दैट प्लीज कीप परफॉर्मिंग ऑल ऑफ यू दैट्स फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज कीप परफॉर्मिंग ऑन राइटिंग यूर ऑनली राइट टू क्लैप यू कैन क्लैप इट्स फाइन इज ऑनली लाइक It's fine. It's fine. Please, please, can we have a round of applause for him? You know what? 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 When I was like seven, eight years old, my brother. I have a younger brother, four years younger to me. Um, so one time, mom, me, and I were walking by the house, and then we came back. Our mom told us, "Stay outside the house. I'll go inside, take some things, or all, all of that." My brother's hand, there's a five rupee coin and there's a fifty paisa coin. Okay, and he was playing with it in his hands. and i was next to him but i really didn't pay attention to what he is doing my mom's inside after a while there's only one coin in his hand okay and i'm like what is the worst ha gir gaya hoga kuch ho gaya hoga i asked him what he's not answering and my brother is like like if i can talk to so my brother doesn't talk as much he is one of those people who will be like if i'm needed to talk i will talk right now otherwise i don't need to he's is the wisest in four of us we turned out like this he turned out like that so um so he's not speaking is not saying anything okay then i asked him two three times aur tab tak uske haath mein jo dusra coin bhi tha usne phek diya kahin pe dar mein ki kaus is like what happened what happened where is the other coin is theek hai now i'm freaking out next thing he points is here okay and i'm like which coin he's not saying anything so i call mom panic mom comes uska sa khada karke she's like kya kya tumhe kya kya ho gaya kya okay so it was very dramatic and she got very scared because she's like coin ka dusra coin ka dusra coin ka mainly hona chahiye ki 5 rupaye wala coin should not go here this is very young small whatever you know we don't know what the impact of it is she's like it should not go not happen she's trying to ask him over and over again he's not answering he's just you know i wish i could play a video of my brother like you would know so if someone's asking like my mom's asking my brother tell me what coin did you eat did you eat something what he's just like this Then she's like, okay, where did you eat it? And then he's just looking, and then he's like, yeah. She's like, okay, where is it? <laughs> so he's just like, yeah. And we start freaking out because we're like, fuck, concert. What is that jazz? Finally went to the doctor. Doctor's like, chill, don't worry. Mom's like, how? Not to worry. <laughs> Are you mad? <laughs> Have you eaten a coin? <laughs> uh, so then the doctor's like, chill, okay, mm, whatever. Just like, I do the normal treatment, give him a lot of bananas to eat, and then. and then we discovered it is a 50 paisa coin not the 5 rupee coin guys <laughs> that was uh, that was the most relieving relieving part of our day because it was a little freaky um, and when he is supposed to talk he didn't talk he should have just told us something but uh, nahi cool um you'll be happy to know my brother doesn't eat coins anymore <laughs> he doesn't eat food also actually <laughs> just lives on sports okay cool uh, three more people yeah okay yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> then more then more three more people guys we we'll, please have sheetal All the way from the last row, guys. Keep clapping till till she comes on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, no. Little more, little more. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Shital. Mohabbat ke upar to sab koi baat kar raha hai, but ek tarfa mohabbat pe kisi ne abhi tak baat nahi kiya. So I'm trying to do something what you haven't done here today, and um, I call this shikayat. शिकायत एक बहुत ही सो आई बिलीव इन द लॉर्ड ऑल 
और मैं शिकायत करती नहीं मेरी फितरत है एक शेर है इस पर मेरी फितरत में नहीं अपना गम बयां करना मेरी फितरत में नहीं अपना गम बयां करना अगर तेरे वजूद का हिस्सा हूं तो आप महसूस कर ले सो so देफो मैं शिकायत सिर्फ उससे करती हूँ तो उसी पर है इट गोज लाइक दस दिया तूने बहुत है दिया तूने बहुत है दाता और उसका सॉरी आई बिगिन अगेन दिया तूने बहुत है दाता और उसका शुक्रिया दिया तूने बहुत है दाता और उसका शुक्रिया पर इंसान हूं फितरत है जो ना दिया उसकी शिकायत करता हूं मुझे तूने नवासा मुझे तूने नवासा कि मैं मोहब्बत कर सकूं मुझे तूने नवासा कि मैं मोहब्बत कर सकूं नवासा ब्लेसिंग एंड मोहब्बत एक ब्लेसिंग ही है सो so, मुझे तूने नवासा कि मैं मोहब्बत कर सकूं उन्हें हमसे इश्क न हुआ ये शिकायत है मुझे तूने पल बेशुमार दिए उस मोहब्बत में मुझे तूने पल बेशुमार दिए इस मोहब्बत में उन्हें भुला पाऊ ये मुमकिन न किया ये भी शिकायत है उनसे मोहब्बत आज भी है उनसे मोहब्बत आज भी है करते रहेंगे उनसे मोहब्बत आज भी है करते रहेंगे किसी और के ना हो पाएंगे ये भी शिकायत है ए मालिक ए मालिक बड़ी शिद्दत से ये मोहब्बत निभाई है ए मालिक बड़ी शिद्दत से ये मोहब्बत निभाई है तेरी बदौलत तेरी बदौलत शिद्दत से ये मोहब्बत निभाई है तेरी बदौलत शिद्दत से ये मोहब्बत निभाई है अब तेरी इबादत न कर पाएंगे ये शिकायत है सो so, दिया तूने बहुत है दाता और उसका शुक्रिया पर इंसान हूँ फितरत है जो न दिया उसकी शिकायत करता हूँ एक शेर अर्ज है ए बंदे ए बंदे किस बात का गुरूर किस बात की बदगुमानी है ए बंदे किस बात का गुरूर किस बात की बदगुमानी है जब मिट्टी से मिट्टी तक इतनी सी तो कहानी है आई होप यू गाइज एव इंजॉय दिस एंड होप टू डू दिस अगेन थैंक यू Thank you so much, ma'am, uh, for performing. Thank you, everyone, for performing. Before we continue, uh, how many of you are just audience? This audience, can you raise your hand? Yeah, can we all clap for them? Yeah, yeah. Everyone else, everyone else, yeah. Because I feel like without audience, we can keep doing this all night long, <laughs> all day, all night, every day. We can do this, but it's the audience that is helping us uh, grow or just be here. Um, okay, I think two more people. You know what? what? Third grade. I don't know why I was so lost. I don't know if you guys felt lost in third grade. Third grade we had third language, which is either Kannada or Sanskrit. So we had two classrooms in third grade, A and B. You had to shift between the classrooms on Wednesday last period. Okay, Kannada wale ek classroom jayenge, Sanskrit wale ek classroom jayenge. I was supposed to go to my Kannada classroom. I took my bag for some reason. I don't. I can't remember why. I was so zoned out. I walked out of the classroom, and mine was a really huge convent not convent name but like it's huge school uh, and you would know ki matlab bacche ghar ja rahe you would know ki break hai lunch hai you know that's so many so many kids and that to boys school so even worse uh, so all of this happening so you can see like you know parents and all of that so i got out at around like one hour before my last period and i started walking towards the gate without any idea like when i only think back in that time it only reminds me of nothing i can't relate to why i did that but i just took my bag and i kept walking towards the gate gate was at a distance my distance pe pahunch gaya i'm at the gate the gate is shut and i'm just like 
why is it shut? <laughs> Aren't we supposed to go home after this? Then, and I didn't have a watch to like, you know, like see the time or ask anyone around. So I just kept my bag in the side and I'm just standing there casually that okay, gate open, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late, I'm Which is never happening. That like seven years I studied in that school, you can never be early because there will always be kids, you know. And um, where the final gate was, one of our gates, that was next to the boys' hostel. Uh, and there, uh, whatever, their canteen, uh, their room where they could eat. So uh, I'm just standing there, aimless, I don't know what to do. Uh, it still not hit me that there was a period I just waiting there. And then I see two of these older kids from hostel come down. And I have been very scared and shy, scared. I just had a scared child while growing up. Anyone comes and talks to me, I start freaking out. Anyone looks at me, I start freaking out. Anyone gives me any kind of attention, I start freaking out. So I'm like, I just don't want to get into any conversation. I don't know what's happening. So two kids come. They're like, what are you doing here? I'm just... I was like my brother from the previous story where I'm just like looking at them and they're like, what are you doing here? You know, where are you? And then one of them looks at their watch. I'm still not registering huh, for what's happening. And then he looks at me and he's like, don't you have one class left? And I'm like, no. And then they both start talking to each other. Yeah, he's got class. You know, he has a class. He has a class. What is he doing here? Maybe he's bunked. So both of them hold my arms. I'm a very tiny <laughs> third grader, okay? Both of them hold my arms and carrying me to principal, ke paas, to teacher. Ke paas. I'm like, I'm like, because I didn't know what to do. I was freaking out. These guys are talking to me like that. They're using, they're telling me ki bunk, bunk, hai. they were like, to bunk liya, to bunk liya. Chal, teacher ke paas student. And I was like, Khatam. third grade, I'll be expelled from school. That's it. My life is done here. Okay. Um, so I'm going to my goal. My teacher in third grade and second grade was this amazing, amazing person named P.T. Usha. Okay. Her name was actually P.T. Usha. Uh, she was one of the nicest people at all, uh, like, you know, in school. And she also used to run fast. Just... <laughs> Okay, so um, they took me to her, third grade, and I'm standing in front of her, and uh, these guys are like, bunk yes, man. what is this? Okay, she, they were like, my teacher was like, take a job. Those who went. She's just looking at me, I'm crying, I'm crying, okay, this six-year-old. She holds my hand and she's like, okay, what happened? You know, like, why did you bunk the class? What happened? Do you know what happened? Do you have a class? All of that. I was like, I just kept crying, just kept crying, just kept crying. She's like, okay, okay, it's okay, calm down, have some water. What happened? And I kept crying and I told her, ma'am, I don't know the meaning of bunk. <laughs> so I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> and I just kept crying. I, I, I thought I did something very wrong and all. And she started laughing. And then she did the sweetest thing. She just hugged me after that. And then she said, it's OK. It's fine. You didn't do anything big. But you know, this is called bunking. And you missed a class. So will you miss a class again? I'm like, no. And she's like, OK, cool. And then go to class. And then, yeah, I forgot about that day. I went back. I didn't go to class that day. I stood, I sat near her and she like sit here and class gets over, go home. Uh, and she like, if you have any other problem, come to me, all of that jazz, which felt, which felt very nice because I was already freaking out at this idea. And that's the first time I learned the meaning of the word bunk in grade three, eight, six. Okay, cool. Last two performers. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Start clapping. Last two. Go wild. Go wild. Yeah. Can we please have forum? Clap if she comes here, guys. Yeah. Clap if she comes on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Keep clapping. Keep clapping. No, no, no. no. Still keep clapping. Hi. <laughs> so nice to be here. For I'm a very nostalgic person. So I've been coming here since I was like 15 years old. Okay, like you know, and I'm 22 now. Not that old. But still, <laughs> I've been coming here since I was 15. It's pretty cool. Haven't been here in a while. But anyway, apart from everything. Um, is anyone here from ICSC board? Uh, you are. So in the 10th grade, do you remember that we had this poem called Psalm of Life? <laughs> Shit, okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm the only one. But I know it word by word, okay? He bunked he bung that day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Maybe. But uh, there's a poem called Psalm of Life, and I was obsessed. Like, I did my project on it. I wrote the 15 mark answer on it, and just obsessed, okay? And uh, I'd forgotten how much I loved the poem until recently I came across a poem that had the word psalm in it and I went wild. I wrote this very existential poem and I'm an atheist, okay? And the poem was called Psalm of Life. It was a little <laughs> existential to my being in general. But um, so this poem that I'm reading out, I wrote on Instagram, never read it out anywhere before. So hope it makes sense <laughs> to you guys. When I read the psalm of life for the first time, 
I never expected it to mean so much to me. To the fact that I'm alive. To the fact that of dust we are and to dust we shall return. In fact, I spoke it as mechanically as a stale wind on a breezeless summer afternoon. I didn't expect the words to flow out of me like harmonies in a choir, but who am I to speak about choirs I can barely sing? I barely know how to take a deep breath in and hold it until it gives me the strength to let go of my misgivings. Who am I to talk about anything? I have barely lived and rarely, I have barely wanted to live. But I don't want my broken will, I don't want, what? <laughs> but I don't want my disregard to be misconstrued as a broken will. Because I have despised myself enough to will the world into despising myself the same. And I hate it. I hate how one prayer is strong enough to break my will to hate everybody. I hate that every time somebody tries to talk me into believing in a religion, I only pray to God and ask them to shut up. And mostly, I hate this earth, knowing that of dust we are and to dust we shall return. Knowing that even dust, which I can wipe off even with a broken finger, will one day completely and inevitably wipe me out. That was <laughs> So this other poem is also relatively new only and not really read it out anywhere. Um, it's pretty short. I don't know if it's a love poem or not, but it's a poem with a lot of questions. So I tried to write a poem today. It was called Love Ended in the Centuries Before Us, Yet We Are Here Now. And the idea didn't seem that averse to me. You know that it was never love, all of our hidden affection, overt affection, unsaid affection, misled affection was never love. And we don't know what it was and we don't know what it is. All we know is how it went or how it ended, how we ended. How we dreamt of love as much as we dreamt of things like sunflower kisses, almost as passionately as we dreamt about each other. How one day our story would be woven into poetry that maybe lovers will read together under the stars on a dusty rock or a warm blanket, just like we did. Maybe we take the idea of love from all the art we consume and turn it into something the two of us can embody forever, if not together. Maybe that's the best we can do while we exist. Maybe in the centuries after us, we'll give it a name. Maybe it'll mean something like love. And just maybe it might mean something more. Everyone who performed was really great. I haven't been to an open mic in ages, so I felt like excited. But thank you so much. I hope to see you guys soon. Last person. I'll do one, one story. One. It's not very short. It's short, but it's maybe about hope. I don't know. You guys tell me. You know what? What? This one time, I went to this place called Gokarna. How many of you been to Gokarna? Anyone? 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 Okay, you've been to Gokarna. Uh, you've been to Gokarna. Okay. Uh, give me a cheer if you guys are a water or a beach person. Give me a cheer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The same two people. Okay. I thought someone else is going to say okay. 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 Anyone else? Like, okay, 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 cool, water, okay. I've always freaked out of water. I don't know what is about water, but I would always freak out. You know, if you've ever experienced this, someone pouring cold water over your head, people feel breathless. I feel extremely breathless, and it would start freaking me out. There was a time I remember, I was in Juhu Beach, okay, and I'm walking with a friend, and the waves are at a distance. But the minute the waves are coming closer and going back, I'm feeling more and more anxious looking at it. And I started seeing these trends. So Gokarna, uh, I went during my college, my degree. Um, we were three, four of us together. And it was very interesting. But again, Gokarna is a beach, a proper beach place. It has this crazy it's water, right? So it has water, it has this one. I knew that I will go to the water and I'm 6'2", I'm right? So I can walk till I can, till I feel comfortable. And the water will still be here and I'm good. I don't need to go more deep. So I, I would do that, all of that. One of the days, 
there are islands in Gokarna. If you want to go from one island to another, you either take a ship, uh, a boat, or you trek and go. And we were like, Abhi, idhar tak aai gaya to fir jaate fir boat mein to boat mein baithe hum char log we went to a certain point before we could go towards the um, island so we were told the sh- boat guy ki ab rok do yahan pe so we stopped it my friend's girlfriend she was a national level swimmer so she removed her life jacket and went into the water open water okay uh, so i'm just looking at her and i'm like good 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 for everyone <laughs> who can do it good don't do anything with me i'm good here so mai dekh raha hu unko her friend also get okay? she's also with her life jacket my best friend is here he's looking at me i'm looking at him i'm like so are you going to go he's like yeah and then he pushes me <laughs> off the boat and then now i'm in the water with the life jacket i mean he thought this through but like he still pushed me and i'm looking at him with anger but i can't reach him because he's on the boat and i'm in the water and i'm freaking out more because i'm now in water okay abhi jaan buj ke mera dost usko puchta hai sir kitna feet ka hoga So it tells him 80, okay? And my way, because I'm bad in math, okay? I got, in 11th, this is not related, in 11th I got 6 out of 50, 9 out of 100 in math. So my way of calculating math is, I'm 6 feet. How many of me have to be there <laughs> for it to be 80 feet? I'm math in the water. How many people will be there? That's very deep, okay? So I'm freaking out. Now, wait, I'll explain this. But okay, so now the boat is here, okay? My friends are on the other side of the boat. The Islands are that side. This is horizon. Okay, you can't see anything till there. And I'm here, just slowly going away. And I'm and I and the thing is, usually, what would you do, right? My brain thinks same on land and water. I'm like, find something to hold to and crawl. Okay, you'll figure out a way. But there's nothing below. There's only a life jacket, and I'm like, I can't remove the life jacket because, yeah. So, uh, so I was like, okay, I don't know what to do. And I'm looking at those guys, and they're like, haha, cool. And I'm like, it's not cool. <laughs> Fucking get me out of water. Finally, the boat guy came, put me in, he came guy. And I'm the, I, I, I'm, I don't know what to feel. Because I'm, I'm supposed to feel angry, but I felt not bad. Like, it was not that bad. But also, I was like, why would you just push me? Also, I was like, oh, okay, fine. The water was too cold. So we are there, and my best friend is like looking, see, see, that was not bad at all, right? I'm like, yeah, I lived <laughs> this time, luckily. But like, he's like, oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We were there for like two, three days. The last day before we were leaving, we were again we went to a private uh, island and while coming back we stopped at another place something similar a little more far towards the ocean um so we were there and uh, now we're all looking at each other okay karna kya i was like i'm going to be the last person <laughs> before any of you fuckers push me you guys figure out your scene before that again the same thing happens both the girls they go they are like hey cool whatever again she's with, without life jacket her friend is with life jacket cool evro karna kar rahe and then my best friend are again on the boat yet in a similar spot and i held him because i'm like if you push me this time i'm going to fall with you and he's like yeah it's cool i like water and i'm like fuck you dude it's not cool so uh, this time instead of asking later he asked pehle kitna hai usne bola 100 120 feet rahega theek hai so i start figuring more and more and years where it all changes because he would have pushed me again or would have said something stupid or would have been like theek hai mata hum ja rahe But he's like, see, you came here two days back, three days back, right? You've been freaking out about water all your life. You come here two, three days back. You went into the water. Nothing worse happened. You were in life jacket. We were around. Ship boat is around. Nothing worse will happen. No one's asking you to swim. Just stay for a while. If you don't feel, if you feel weird, come back on top. Okay, come back on the boat. No one's gonna, no one's gonna force you to be there. So I took two, three deep breaths. Slowly, man. I saw. You know how when you're doing like something. Uh, how do I explain? If you're, I was basically on the boat. Can I sit here? And slowly, I'm not letting go, but I have to. But I'm not letting go. Slowly, I slipped, and I went into the water. And I also have a problem with my face being underwater because I start feeling very breathless. And suddenly, when you take a dive, obviously you're gonna do that. And suddenly, when I came out, I'm like, <laughs> I'm dead, I'm dead. And he's like, No, relax, wait. And then again, I was in the same situation where I was going towards the horizon, and these guys on the boat. But for once, I was like, Let's just be. Let's just float. You know, it's not that bad. These guys will come back. I'm not going that quick. Even though the horizon was here, and you're slowly going, and you're like, no, 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 no. But a major part of me was like, okay, let's just see how bad this can be. And it actually turned out to be good. And ever since that, my my fear for water has slowly gotten better. And it all came with 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 trying. And and on this auspiciously motivating note, 
I would request you to try to face these fears that you have because I feel like they do um, they do leave a mark on you, but they also give you spaces to learn and identify and whatever examine. Because all these years I didn't go into water for that was like 18 years of my life. I was like no, I never in swimming was very difficult. And when I grew tall, I'm like, I'll just walk on water on a pool. So if you see me on a six feet pool, I'm just walking from like one side to the other. All my friends are swimming. I'm like, hey, bye, because um, it's fun. But yeah, uh, that taught me that you should approach, um, you should approach what you fear with fear, but also with the fact that you might get over the fear. The hope of getting over the fear will eventually help you maybe get over the fear. Cool. Thank you. I wish it was that beautiful, but <laughs> it wasn't. Um, but Gokana water was clean, so, you know, compared to the Juhu one, <laughs> that was more freaky. Katrina? Katrina to nahi thi Guys, go karna hai, guys. <laughs> you can't hire so many actors, production click budget nahi tha. No? Okay. This is my head. Fine. Last person? Last person, are you guys excited? Yeah? yeah. You all can go home, guys. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Last person, last person, last person. Go mad, guys. Go mad. Last person. Come on. Clap, clap, clap. Can you please have Amit? All the way from the third row, guys. He's coming. He's coming. No, 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 no. He's coming here only. Keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Yeah? Yeah, so basically, I begin with Shadi. So I wrote, I write basically both for loves and for breakups. So I begin with the first one is my introduction, Shadi. कि जुगनू से आमिन जगमगा जाता है मेरा मुझे महताब नहीं चाहिए बिखरे पन्नों में सिमट सकता हूं मैं मुझे बंदिशों का किताब नहीं चाहिए और मैं अपने नाम से ही खुश हूं मुझे कोई किताब नहीं चाहिए इस टाइप के एंड सो वन ऑफ द वन शाइड गोस लाइक दिस तुम्हें ख्वाब में देखूं तो ख्याल चहकते हैं तुम्हें ख्वाब में देखूं तो ख्याल चहकते हैं हमारी नजर तो तुम्हें महज नजर भर देखने के लिए बहकते हैं और तुम्हारी खुशबू ने बुलाया है मुझे कि कहीं बागों में फूल भी महकते हैं तुम्हारी खुशबू ने बुलाया है मुझे कि बागों में कहीं फूल भी महकते हैं एंड सो आई गो विथ वन मोर पोइट्री कुछ तो है कुछ तो है तुम में जो मुझे बांध के रखती है जैसे ढलते सूरज को सांझ रखती है रेत साफ दिख रहा था मैं तुमने छू मुझे आईना बना दिया खुद से कोसों दूर था तुमने पास बुलाकर मुझे खुद से मिला दिया तुम्हारी आंखों में लगा काजल सारी बलाएं टाल देता है ना जाने कैसे मेरी दुश्वारिया तुम्हारी आंचल संभाल लेता है एक तरफ तुम्हारे बिखरे जुल्फों के साए हैं और दूसरी तरफ मेरे खुद के साए हैं जो पराए हैं तुम साथ हो मेरे तो लगता है राहों से परे मंजिल का होना है तुमने झाँका मुझ में तो पता चला मुझ में बाकी एक सरासर कोना है मैं भी हैरत में हूँ कि ना जाने कैसे एक ही शक से इतना ख्वाब लिखता है और ना जाने कैसे एक ही पन्ने में इतनी सारी किताब सिमटा लेट्स मूव टू बेकअप वाला पार्ट कि वक्त कल जहाँ था आज वहीं आके रुक गया मेरा तीर निशाने पे लगकर भी चूक गया जो पेड़ दूसरों को छाव देता था मेरी बारी आई तो समी से जमी से लग के छूट गया जिस दरिया के पानी के हम प्यासे थे वो तो किसी और के इंतजार में सूख गया वन हो शायरी की कुछ खामियां हैं मुझ में कि शायद तुम सब्र की चादर में सिमटी रहती हो या शायद मुझे इंतज़ार करना नहीं आता शायद तुम सब्र की चादर में सिमटी रहती हो शायद मुझे इंतज़ार करना नहीं आता जब भी देखता हूँ तुम्हें तो आंखों में बस जाती हो शायद मुझे दीदार करना नहीं आता और मैं भी हैरत में हूँ कि शायद तुम्हें इजहार नहीं करना आता या शायद मुझे इकरार करना नहीं आता होली सो आई रोट वन शायरी बेसिस ऑन दैट किस होली में बस एक ही मलाल है इस होली में बस एक ही मलाल है तुम्हारे दिन ये बेरंग गुलाल है तुम्हारे दिन ये बेरंग गुलाल है एंड ऑन दिस नोट आई एंड वन लाइक वन लाइन ऑफ कि वक्त ने उसे रोकना चाहा वक्त ने उसे रोकना चाहा ना वक्त रुका ना ही वो थैंक यू
వన్ టైమ్ Uh, thank you so much for coming that was the end of the show before i end i want to say i gave you two three facts i want to give you one fact before i leave fourth this is just something i want to share because i feel like you guys will relate you know how valentine day came and all of this comes and then capitalistic market everyone's like hey, you know marketing like it's straight marketing on your face constantly all the time right it's too much i just believe in subtle marketing because it's much better right you can just it's simpler it's easier right so please follow me on instagram it's at the rate y s o h r s h i also had a podcast here at this very stage um, which i put out last year uh, it's me sitting with poets and storytellers and finding out their process their journey and what they do um, which is on my youtube uska link mere bio mein hai which is on my instagram so you guys figure out life and do all of that um, check out habitat studios uh, youtube channel two three days later you'll find your uh, videos there Thank you so much for coming each one of you. Uh can you please have an applause for everyone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for coming. My name is Harsh. Uh, I will see you guys soon. Take care.